drugs in Philippines. Right from campaign time, Rodrigo Duatete built his campaign on eliminating drug dealers. On 5th June 2020, in his election campaign ran on a national television, Duatete openly encouraged citizens to kill suspected drug dealers or users, terming it a duty. Hitler massacred 3 million Jews. Now, there is 3 million, there is a 3 million drug addicts. There are. I'd be happy to slaughter now. You are free to kill. He went ahead to put up huge rewards for anyone who turned in drug dealers, dead or alive. In his inauguration speech in 2016, he stressed his earlier position to Filipinos that if you know of any addicts, go ahead and kill them yourself. Duateta has always publicly urged police to kill drug dealers. You are free to kill the idiots. That is my order. Always in the performance of the truth. The war on drugs has defined his administration since he assumed the power in 2016. He used the same strategy to reduce crime while he was still a mayor of the city of Davao before becoming the president. The war on drugs championed by the Philippines president Rodrigo Duatete, according to official figures, had claimed 6,117 suspected drug dealers during operations by April 2021. However, Human rights organizations say that the number could be at least 27,000. Such killings have only happened between 2016 and 2021 and largely been committed by the country's security forces. 290,000 drug dealers have been arrested within five years of Duatete's administration. According to UN, at least 73 children had been killed in the drug war, including a five-month baby, by June 2020. UN also says that the same war had led to the killing of at least 248 land and environmental rights activists, lawyers, journalists, and trade unionists between 2015 and 2019. The same war has seen 12 mayors and 8 vice mayors killed since July 2016. Philippine News Agency in 2019 reported that police in Bakorodi had seized drugs worth $335,000 from June to August of 2019. Amnesty International on 18th May reported 7,025 people had been killed within the first six months of Duatete's administration, meaning on average 34 people died in a single day for six months. Amnesty International referred to these killings as state-sponsored. In the early days of his administration, Duatete asked all those who were on his kill list or were connected in any way to selling or using drugs to voluntarily hand themselves to police. Duatete reported that in only the first month of his rule, 120,000 people had heeded to his request and presented themselves to police. He noted that more than half of them had links to the drug trade. Reports also indicated that there have been cases of mistaken identification where innocent people with no connection to drug trade had been murdered. Death of suspects in police custody were also pointed out by the Amnesty International report in 2020. Amnesty International report indicated that most of the victims of war on drugs were men from impoverished backgrounds. However, authorities say that all the drug dealers that have been killed fought back against authorities during their operations. Prisons are filled beyond capacity by victims of war on drugs. The case in the point is the Central Manila prison, occupied by the number of prisoners many times than its designed capacity. The killings have been catalyzed by financial rewards extended to the killers of drug dealers. Amnesty International's investigation in 2020 found out that police killings were being driven by pressure from the top, whereby there were financial rewards availed for police officers who could kill people allegedly involved in drug trade. According to Amnesty International, the words per person killed ranged from $130 to $240. Killing was rewarded while arresting paid nothing. A victim told Amnesty that some police officers had established a racket with the funeral homes who would extend financial rewards to them for whichever dead body that was brought to their home. Killing had been turned into business.
Mikeo Bachereti, the UN High Commissioner's report on human rights abuses in the Philippines, submitted to the Human Rights Council on September 13, 2021, reported widespread and continued human violations in the Philippines. The report indicated that the violations are committed with impunity across the country by mainly the country's forces and police. The report noted that there were more reports concerning human rights violations and abuses, which also included the killings by police and security forces in counter narcotics and counter insurgency operations. Highlighted were killing of civilians, recruitment of children, and extortions carried out by the New People's Army that belongs to the Communist Party of Philippines. She condemned the abuses of any nature inflicted on human rights defenders and the other activists calling on their immediate stoppage. Investigate PH, an independent human rights group in July 2021, called on the UN Human Rights Council to act and ensure Duatete is held criminally liable for his extrajudicial killings, abductions, and disappearances. ICC also engaged in investigations into Duatete over possible crimes against humanity under his war on drugs campaign. On receiving such news, Duatete decided to withdraw Philippines' membership from ICC. He also publicly declared that he would not participate in ICC's legal deliberations. Amnesty International on 2020 tasked the Filipino government to rein in and stop killings and bring to book the perpetrators. We are calling for an urgent end to the state-sponsored killings and for authorities in the Philippines to pursue fair means of bringing those who are alleged to have broken the law to justice. Amnesty urged. Amnesty also summoned Duatete's government to one immediately condemn all unlawful killings by police and call on law enforcement officers to abide by international law on use of force. Two, to conduct a prompt impartial investigation into every other use of force by police and ensure those responsible are brought to justice through fair trials. Three, make sure all police activities are subjected to independent oversight and officers held accountable for their actions. The government has taken steps out of pressure from the international community to prevent extrajudicial killings. 1. Mandatory use of body-worn cameras by police during operations and the use of alternative recording devices by police while conducting their operations. However, UN Rights Chief Bachelet termed these small measures being taken by the Philippines government to prevent extrajudicial killings. Rodrigo Duatete assumed the presidency in 2016 and his six-year term will be ending in 2022. The constitution only provides for a six-year term for presidents. The 76-year-old and former mayor of Davao recently announced that he would retire from politics at the end of his term. My name is Mtawe Dan Bosco, a journalism and communication student at Makerere University.